I am Gajan Gavendran, and I'm the Asia-Pacific CDO for Cloud Platform, and I'd like to give you an understanding of IBM Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC. At a very high level, it is a mechanism to logically isolate cloud resources by defining network segments and routing rules. Some of the key benefits of this virtual private cloud is speed to deploy network segments and rules quickly, reducing costs without the need for physical network devices and the agility to modify network rules as needed. So let's briefly discuss the key concepts behind IBM VPC. It's within a VPC where we're going to create and design our network and workload architecture. The first concept we need to be aware of is the notion of a region. A region can be thought of as a separate geographic area. Within a region, we can deploy a VPC. A VPC can encapsulate zones, which can be thought of as an isolated infrastructure location. If we wanted to deploy service for high availability, we would do so by deploying them across multiple zones within a region. Within each zone, we can define subnets, which logically divides IP networks. By doing so, we can place different compute resources depending on the routing rules for that subnet and govern traffic to those resources. Considering a three-tier architecture consisting of a web server, app server, and database server, what we're going to do is design our network segments according to those tiers. First, we have to pick an IP address range and define it using CIDR block notation. We'll assign for zone 1 the 10.10.0.0-16 IP address range, so basically, we'll need to define subnets within this IP address range. For our web tier, let's define 10.10.10.0-24 as our IP address range. This basically means we can assign 256 IP addresses. However, you have to take into consideration reserved IP addresses used by IBM within the CIDR block range, which leaves us with 251 addresses that can be used for hosts within this subnet. We can adjust the number of hosts by altering the net mask value. Next, we can create our application tier and database tiers with IP address range 10.10.20 .0-24 and 10.10.30.0-24 respectively. To restrict access to the subnets and to the specific compute resources within each subnet, we can define security group and access control lists. ACLs restrict inbound and outbound traffic to a subnet, while security groups act like a virtual firewall and controls traffic to your virtual servers. In our example, we can define a security group for servers in our web tier that can accept traffic inbound from port 80 and all outbound traffic. We can define similar security groups for our app tier and database tiers. For added security, we could also provide ACLs that allow for deny traffic inbound and outbound. So to design an HA architecture to ensure that in the event of a resource failure in a particular zone, you can fail over to resources in another zone. We can basically replicate the resource deployment in Zone 2. In our example, we will replicate the web app and database tiers in Zone 2 using three additional subnets, the .30-24.40.50-24 respectively. We can then extend out the security groups and apply the same ACLs and attach this to the newly created subnets so we have similar firewall and access rules defined in Zone 2. To support user traffic and scale our environment appropriately, you can attach a public load balancer that will test backend connectivity to the web tier servers, and we can apply load balancing rules, such as round robin, to route traffic between each server based on inbound requests. For restricted subnets, we can also attach a private load balancer with similar load balancing rules without public facing accessibility. In our example, we have a public load balancer attached to a web tier and a private load balancer situated between the web and application tiers. And finally, we have traffic from the application tier connected to a provisioned database instance called DB1. We can set up replication policies in DB1 to DB2 and failover using clustering capabilities, but we have simplified this in the diagram. So this is VPC in a nutshell. For more information, follow IBM Cloud.